So we just got done discussing um, what happens when you're looking for free energy and you have standard conditions right here. Well, what if you don't have standard conditions? What, how does that affect things? Um, and what is the voltage going to be at a non-standard condition? So remember, you're not always going to have standard conditions. Um, you're going to have different amounts of things sometimes. And so, so what we use for any time we're solving for voltage with non-standard conditions, and this does appear on the AP exam uh, pretty much every year in some sort of a free response question. And so this is called the Nernst equation. So the Nernst equation shows up and here's what it is. So energy at non-standard, remember we use this little thing to show standard conditions. And so energy at non-standard conditions equals the uh, voltage at standard conditions minus uh, 0 0.052 is a constant which actually incorporates Faraday's constant um, and the universal gas constant and the absolute temperature of 298. So this actually, you know, this actually only works at, at 298. So you do have to be at 298 degrees Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius for this equation even because um, this number depends on it. It is divided by N, and we remember that N equals the actual number of electrons transferred. And so we remember that from the last equation. And the other thing is that uh, we have the, the log of uh, Q. So we'll take the log of Q. And so what is Q? Um, well, Q, see, I think I uh, sort of wrote this out right here. I did. So Q equals the products divided by the reactants. Q is like our equilibrium expression Q, this big capital Q. And, and so that's always this concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And we're not at equilibrium. Remember, Q is just our, our raw concentration. So what if we take the equation that we talked about previous? So in part five, uh, we use this equation where we said we have aluminum and zinc, and we showed how um, this is going to go totally to completion. It's totally um, spontaneous. We proved all of that stuff. Now, what if we take that same equation and we use it only this time instead of at standard concentrations? We have differing conversations, concentrations, and so let's say that our aluminum, we have uh, 1.6 molar, so 1.6 molar of the aluminum and we have 0.1 molar of the zinc. So we have to find a Q, and so that's pretty easy. So we have the products, which is the aluminum, and um, according to the equation, remember we have to use the balanced equation in the Q, they become exponents, the coefficients become exponents, so 1.60 squared divided by 0.1 to the third, and that's going to give us 2560. Uh, we should be able to plug this into the Nernst equation now. And so here we go. So um, E is going to equal, remember, the voltage at standard conditions was 0 0.90 volts from the previous problem. Uh, we could go over here to check. Uh, yep, that's what we found out it was because we figured out which one was reduction, which one was oxidation. We got that. Um, if you're watching this video and you haven't watched the previous one, please do. It'll help a lot. So then what? Um, we're going to have to subtract from that uh, 0 0.0592 and that's going to be divided by our number of moles of electrons and we do remember that we actually had six moles of electrons transferred from this side to this side from the previous um, one. So six moles of electrons and that's times the log of the Q and remember the Q was 2560. So pretty simple. Um, we're just going to go ahead and um, we could divide the 0 0.059 by 6 and multiply it times the log of 2560. And from all that, we'll get 0 0.034. And this part of the Nernst equation um, gives you voltage, actually. So what, what's happening here is that the, the voltage at non-standard conditions is going to equal your voltage at standard conditions and the non-standard conditions are going to affect that voltage and so it subtracts from it, right? And so you can see here that we don't have very much of the zinc 
And so because we don't have a lot of the zinc and we have an excess of this, um, this thing isn't going to proceed in the same way. It's going to be limited in some sense. So what's actually happening is it's being limited by 0 0.034 uh, voltage, which isn't a lot. So you're just going to subtract that. And so your energy at non-standard conditions is going to equal 0.87 volts uh, versus the original 0 0.90 volts. And so the cell voltage is going to drop as the concentration of the reactant decreases. And so if you see this concentration of a reactant decreasing from standard conditions, remember standard conditions is one molar, then um, it's going to cause a voltage drop. So, um, so that shows you how to figure out any sort of voltage at any sort of non-standard condition. And, and really what you're going to be dealing with with non-standard conditions is simply um, a, you know, a difference in the uh, molarity or concentration here, the reactants and, uh, and products. So, um, so then you factor it in using the Nernst equation, piece of cake, not a problem. Um, and in this one, we use the previous, all the previous work from the previous video before I didn't want to repeat any of that.